Hello students, welcome to EduAid. I am Amarjit Dev, Assistant Professor, Assam Don Bosco University, Department of Commerce and Management. Well friends, today we will be discussing about a very important topic, which is concerning all of us, especially the people who are working in various organizations, companies, both in the private and the government establishments. Well, the topic is management. I've already written it down. Management challenges of 21st century. Okay. So there are many challenges, but we, we would like to classify those into four or five types under which we can discuss those challenges. But so far as you are concerned, you can add few more challenges if you think it has not been covered. Okay. So let's write the first one. In today's context, The customer needs and expectations are undergoing rapid change, are undergoing rapid change, changes due to various reasons, due to change in the lifestyle, due to change in the overall environment. I mean, the technological environment, which is revolutionizing everything, the way we are learning, the way we are studying, the way we are working from in our, in our offices, everything has been driven by technology and the change is happening at a rapid pace. I would like to give one example here. You know, maybe 40, 50 years back, I'm talking of 1980s, 1990s, maybe 1970s as well, you know, where if you want to buy a scooter or two-wheeler, you know, you had to book it and wait for years you never know when the scooter will arrive. And then finally the scooter arrives, you pay the amount and take it home. When you used to watch television channels, one television the entire house used to see, and one channel every week, if you're, if you're your favorite, you know, Star Wars or, a, you know, any particular serial or any particular cartoon would come once a week. Think about it today. <laughs> every room is having a television. 24 by 7 different channels you go to any dealer and you can buy a scooter a car anything you want you know just pay the money you don't have to pay the full money as well <laughs> you know pay the uh, token amount and rest in easy monthly installments changing needs and you know rapid changes are taking place that's one of the challenge managers are faced with there's no single product which remains in the shelf for a long time Mobile phone, for example, the moment you, your particular mobile phone, if you have purchased it a year back, then probably by next year, it, this phone will be obsolete. There'll be 10 different models available. Upgraded models. Well, to, you know, in the early 2000, when you had your mobile phone, there was the only device you had and it continued for a long period of time. So the shelf life of products have also come down. Okay, let us move to the second point. Economic and industrial policy changes. Economic and industrial policy changes have also been taking place at a rapid pace. And this has led to the competition becoming very tough. I'm sure all of you are writing with me so that you are not bored. You know, you can write at the same time. The moment you write, you remember as well. Okay. So tough competition has come to stay. Why? Because of rapid changes. You have foreign companies coming and competing with Indian companies. Be it in insurance, be it in telecom, FMCG, any sector you say. Indian market has opened itself to the global market. There is competition between brands you know you talk of nike and adidas in the sports segment they're the leading brands you hardly find any indian company products matching to that level that we are talking about okay and the indian market is becoming attractive to the foreign players so the government earns in the whole process as well as a result 
you know there is no fixed policy which remains for a long period of time so therefore what is the implication the implication is that companies cannot plan for a long period of time the plan has to be a medium term or a short term you cannot plan and keep your eyes closed because the market is very dynamic every day something different is happening and you need to be alert to that one example i gave very recently demonetization you know lot of impact in the pricing dealers were under, were skeptical about lifting the goods why because they thought prices would increase somebody thought prices would decrease there was a lot of confusion for a short period of time we have covered we have covered it up as a country i mean india is one country you know which has done very well to the demonetization if you look back in history many foreign companies were foreign countries where demonetization was done they were not successful uh, in the whole process okay uh, i'm talking of gst i'm sorry i'm talking of gst many countries were not successful but in india we came out with gst very nicely uh, the second point is also about demonetization you know companies had to change their strategy so a lot of economic changes are happening happening and companies need to be alert okay let's go to the third point profile of workers of the workforce profile of workers are changing you know earlier you had people with you know undergraduate that means they have just passed their ba become bsc or class 12 and they have got positions because you know master degree was not a common phenomena or any other technical qualification not too many people we did not have too many institutes too many facilities for loan and other things the awareness level was not there but when you talk of profile of customers profile of workers today i mean everybody is well qualified you know master degree is is happening even after graduation people are continuing to study for masters because they have support from their family members in terms of finance they need not go to their job immediately after their graduation okay so therefore the profile of workforce is becoming you know is is becoming higher and higher day by day they are coming the education level is higher day by day 20 years back you did not have that in your workforce but today everybody is having the technical qualification and the knowledge to use the internet to use the computer that wasn't the case earlier so as a result that is becoming challenging for managers plus the mobility of people from one place to another you know today people are not hesitant to work in any other uh, work in any different place they are they are open to that why because there are opportunity whenever there is opportunity you will go you will not mind going and working there be it in in the country or outside the country okay so that's a challenge for managers next point please write down technological change technology is changing and that has impacted our work style the type of products that are being offered today every month a new product is being offered that wasn't possible earlier because access to technology was it was not there today it is available number 2 the second point here is you know the customers are also becoming educated it is not only the employees customers you know they go through the entire unboxing video in the youtube to see the product so they know better than the sales person the sales person has just become a facilitator in the shop this wasn't the case 10 years back where we had we were depending on the sales person for information today we have reviews at our in our hand mobile and we judge whether this product is good or bad so as a result the level of the the quality of selling skills has to be much higher has to be much more technical where the customer actually looks for something new from the salesman otherwise he is of no value to the company okay so so far we have discussed four i would just like to give you a recap the first point was the changing needs and expectations you know the needs are changing at a rapid pace the second is the economic and industrial policy change that is we are trying to say that we know change is very very constant you know change is the only thing which is very very constant but in today's context the ch- this change has become very very rapid agote bahut derike hoisile ajikali eta bahut jaldi jaldi change to hoy ase so as a result you know our level of adaptation is be- has to be very very high we need to adapt to our conditions at a fast pace in order to you know survive in order to be in the race the last point is 
the internal environment of the company the internal environment is also changing what do you mean by this the internal environment is also changing it means you know the whole process of if you talk of different departments if i'm talking of staffing function for example you know the recruitment process has changed a lot you know you have an online exam you go to you know you log in you give the exam the company gets the data immediately and they select and shortlist you they take an interview over skype there is not much of traveling involved even training has become e training where you know the training manager delivers the lecture and it is being viewed by people over and over again and correct and managers at the implementation level monitor you rather than you traveling to mumbai or delhi and getting yourself trained the cost is getting minimized because end of the day today we are talking of efficiency the in india as consumers in fact everywhere we are very much price conscious so companies are trying to uh, work a lot on minimizing the pricing of their products or services every company has certain products or services hospital or treatment hobo pare diagnostic preventive therapeutic tinta bhitor jikone eta hobo so the hospital which offers you very effective treatment at an efficient price you will be visiting that so you know the internal environment is the way managers are monitoring the people you know the reports are being sent through whatsapp you know you have con- conference call going over with you know skype and other audio visual devices so life work has become 24 by 7 and we are adopting you know as workforce we are adopting the your generation if i say you guys are evolving to that the generation after you have come they are better equipped they're getting themselves better equipped so everything is moving on in a at a very fast pace so in summary i would say these are the broadly the challenges faced by management in the 21st century and managers need to be more skillful in their application of the various functions of management at where at various levels that they are working in order to get the work done efficiently and effectively within the team or outside the team thank you students